All right, guys, welcome back to Predominance Raids. Uh, Raiden here, bringing you guys the first video in my new series, which is going to be a cleanup series. What we're going to do is we're going to look, uh, look at a base that was hit for a fresh attack that wasn't three-starred, and then we're going to go ahead and look at how we were able to clean it up. Really quick, uh, two things, guys. One, I know that the audio quality has not been superb on the last two videos. I, uh, I apologize. I am trying. Um, I am just using an integrated mic in the computer, so uh, it's just kind of you know using what I have at the moment. I am working on some things to be able to tweak it to improve it. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to talk obnoxiously loud. Let's see if that works. But um, I do want to make it better. You know, I know the channel is just a small thing. It's really just an internal thing for us guys and girls. But um, I'll tell you what, if we can get to 100 subscribers, and so for 100 subscribers, you know, that means, you know, you're going to have to go make, you know, a bunch of other fake YouTube accounts to subscribe. You're going to have to go tell your girlfriend or wife that, you know, you are going to break up with her unless she gets on YouTube and subscribes to this random guy's channel that she knows. You know, whatever it takes, guys. If we get to 100 subscribers, I will literally go and buy a microphone, um, a good one, uh, and we will use that to get some superb audio quality. Also, if um, if I am even more, uh, you know, or if I am even less coherent or slurring my words more or making even less sense, we can blame that on the several local Chicago craft beer brews that I have been enjoying, and they are delicious. Uh, fantastic job to Pipeworks. Okay, so of course, for the first cleanup video, you know I gotta do it, Wes. I gotta go to my boy Slabo2580, our glorious leader. And uh, in all seriousness, guys, we're not not picking on Slabo at all. I can say with full confidence he is um, our best Town Hall 9 attacker. This happens to everyone, especially on a first attack. If you are hitting a base and you do not know where the traps are and you do not know where the Teslas are and what's in the clan castle, it just happens, guys. So. Uh, actually, was a really good attack. The one thing that I love about Slabo is his ability to break down a base and really game plan for every specific section of it. Nothing gets overlooked. So let's take a look at, uh, at what his plan was. So he decides to come in. Uh, was an, Oh, that is way too fat. That's like a big old booty. Okay. Uh, it's an Archer Queen walk. So drops his Archer Queen over here at 9 o'clock uh, with 5 healers. Okay, now 5 healers is quite a bit for an Archer Queen walk, but the reason he does that is look at all this point defense. So 1, 2, 3 point defense. So he drops his Archer Queen down there. Uh, he does drop 2 wizards here to be able to push her the direction he wants. So she's going to do her walk. Now, what he wants to get for the walk is a few things, and this is the attention to detail. So he wants to get, you know, these point defense. He knows that his Archer Queen is going to engage with the opposing Archer Queen when she aggroes, so he wants to get that. Now, if you look at the base before it's attacked, there is a potential double giant bomb set here. So he knows that by eliminating both of these Archer Towers, he actually can potentially eliminate a double giant bomb set for his hogs. If you look at his composition, this is just a Archer Queen walk mass hog attack. There are no golems. So as his Archer Queen walks down there, he does drop uh, one hog in to pull the clan castle, takes care of the clan castle, and deals with the clan castle, you know, somewhere over here. And then basically his Archer Queen is on autopilot. Now, if you look at the enemy Barbarian King, it's rather exposed. It's over on the edge. So he decides to get a little bit of dual value and drops his Barbarian King down. Now, he wants to swap Barbarian Kings, but because he has no Golem, he also wants to basically tank these three-point defense. Now, he comes in with his Hogs for kind of a, a two-section Asian wall. So kind of one section here, one section here, okay? Now, there ends up being a random Tesla here over at 3 o'clock, so some of this group of hogs does kind of detour over there, which, which screws it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, as his hogs move in, he drops down two nice heal spells. 
Now, the problem is, is that the giant bomb that was over here ends up being horizontal and not vertical. The giant bomb set actually ends up being there with a Tesla right there. Oh, uh, okay. So what happens is, as his hogs are kind of moving through here, they get to here and he loses maybe five or six hogs to this double giant bomb set. As they're kind of working their way through the base, he drops his last heel over here and brings two back-end balloons. So as this archer tower is distracted, he drops these two balloons here. The problem is, is there actually ends up being two seeking air mines here, and they kill the balloons. He, he doesn't actually even get the archer tower down. And he just runs out of juice and just runs out of gas. I, I think these, you know, this section of defenses there is still alive. His hogs get through here. I mean, there's so much point defense. And he just runs out of time. It was an awesome plan. Both his heroes are still up. The healers were still up. He had some cleanup wizards. Uh, he, he just ran out of time. He, he would have certainly been able to clear out these backside defenses. But let's go ahead and clear this off. Let's take a look at the attack, and then let's see how it was cleaned up. So drops the Archer Queen, uh, drops the two wizards there just to create the funnel. You see the one hog there just to pull the clan castle, which is smart. Uh, he actually also got a skeleton trap, which is just kind of bonus. Didn't know it was there, obviously. Drops the raid just to get through the, uh, the clan castle. Gets the opposing archer queen, and then the hogs come in. And again, kind of a two-sided Asian wall. You'll see some of them there go off to that random Tesla. Uh, first heal spell could have been a little bit deeper there over more by the mortar, just because it was just the mortar and two air defenses. But again, he didn't know a Tesla was going to pop there and run some of his hogs into a double giant bomb set. Uh, drops the third heal here in a second on these backside point defense. And we'll speed it up. And you see here, you know, great uh, attack, really good idea. He just, towards the end here, runs out of juice. There was a lot of point defense plus a uh, second skeleton trap that popped. And, you know, again, he's got all his healers. The healers heal both heroes up to full health. He had several cleanup wizards. Just couldn't quite uh, do it in terms of those backside defenses, but was a really, really good plan. And uh, just a few small things there to clean it up. Okay, so we're going to take a look now at uh, yours truly um, cleaning it up. Uh, Wes has done this to me multiple times, cleaned up my attacks, but um, I decided to do it a little bit differently. The Archer Queen walk was a good idea, and he got a lot of value from it, but I decided to just come in with a stone go-ho. So really quick, let's just recap uh, where the, the traps were. So he had a, a Tesla here, a Tesla here, I believe a, no, there wasn't a Tesla there. There was a Tesla there, and I believe a Tesla here. Uh, there was a double giant bomb set here, and there was a double giant bomb set here. So what I decided to do, so that that this Tesla was pushed back further, more recessed towards the king. But I decided to come in, I, I dropped one hog here just to lure the clan castle, and I did drop the poison on it at the beginning of the attack. It was a, uh, a dragon, a balloon, a wizard, and an archer, so I wanted to kill the archer, the wizard, and the loon and soften up the dragon a bit. And the reason why is I want to come in with a stone go ho. So I go one golem, two golem, and then my third golem in the middle. I drop uh, quite a bit of uh, cleanup wizards here just because there's some storages. There's quite a bit of uh, junk buildings there on the outside. I think I drop a, a minion there. And then I come in with uh, my barbarian king and archer queen. They're going to go in the middle. I drop a jump spell right there to get me into that double giant bomb set and the archer queen and then I did drop a rage spell to basically just get everything moving a little bit quicker and again there's a lot 
of you know DPS in this area. So once I do that, because I knew where the Tesla was, I did drop uh, one loon here just for a one for one trade on that Tesla. And then I just come in, um, you know, very similar hog deployment to what Slabo did. Just kind of a two-sided Asian wall. Now, I just brought the two heels. And so I drop a heel about right here, which was actually misplaced a little bit. And, and I didn't get as many hogs as I should have. And then I knew that the way the hogs were going to path, they weren't going to hit this double giant bomb set at once. They were only going to hit it one at a time. So... I know there's all this point defense here, so I try and wait on it and then drop that second heel uh, on the backside. Now, I barely get it. I get all of the defenses, and then his Barbarian King takes out my last two or three hogs. But I had enough left. I had, I think, both heroes up and then enough wizards just to be able to get his Barbarian King and the remaining defenses. So, you know, just took what Slabo did and just adapted it a little bit, but very similar in terms of most of the attack. So let's clean it out and let's go ahead and watch it. So you see the hog come in there to pull the clan castle. Drop the poison on it. And the reason I did that was I um, sometimes the archer queen can get kind of funky and not target the clan castle troops right away. I didn't want his clan castle tro troops to be able to work on my golems and really uh, do quite a bit of damage. So I just decided to drop the poison on them there. So you'll see my funnel wizards go down, my archer queen goes down, and really quick, just just one uh, one small thing, guys. When you're when you're trying to create a funnel and then you're dropping your archer queen behind, it's very important that you drop one side of wizards on the side, the other side of wizards on the opposing side, and then you leave the middle buildings and then drop your archer queen. Okay. The reason why, and, and you have to do it in that order, side, side, and then the Archer Queen, because if you just drop wizards all the way across, your Archer Queen is very likely just to start to steer on you, astray. Uh, but when you leave some um, buildings in the middle, after you've cleared the side buildings, it forces her on the inside. So just because I see sometimes people do that kind of backwards, just a small thing, but uh, drop the jump spell. I uh, do wait, I think, until the dragon's down. You'll see there I dropped the one loon over there on the Tesla just to get the one for one. Drop the Barbarian King. And everything's going to go into that jump. I'm going to drop a nice Rage spell. And then I uh, just come in with my, my hogs here. And I tried to wait until they, they met up. I dropped the first heal spell to... I favored it too much towards the air defense and not enough towards the expo. So I actually didn't get enough value from that, especially because the Barbarian King and the Tesla pop there. So I, I needed to favor it more towards the right. Uh, Drop the second one. And, you know, I've still got a Golem up, which is tanking a little bit. I've still got both heroes up and, you know, haven't popped either ability, which was really huge for me. Already started with some cleanup troops at the bottom. And like I said, I, I barely have enough hogs to get through all these defenses. Tesla goes down, and then, you know, Hogs are immediately dead. But again, I've got both abilities and a, uh, a Golem up. I've got Cleanup Wizards. And I knew that Barbarian King, his, his Barbarian King, wasn't going to be enough to, uh, to stop me. So plenty of time. And that was that. So again, really attack, uh, really nice attack by Slabo. And then, you know, I just took the, uh, the fundamentals and just changed a few things after seeing where everything was. But let me know, guys, if you like the cleanup series. Um, please let me know, too, um, if there's any other series or any other content that you guys are looking for me to bring to you. But this is Raiden signing off with another video for Predominance Raids. We'll see you next time.